You know, one of the great things about the athletic department at Wanakee High School is they got such a variety of things that you can do. And for the girls up there, they can even play lacrosse as we bring in the head coach of the Wanakee High School uh, girls lacrosse team. That's Ashley Lochner. And Ashley, thanks for joining us. And if you could, tell us a little bit how you got involved with lacrosse, not only with Wanakee, but with Mela as well. Um, I originally started coaching lacrosse back in 2009. I had been working in Wanakee during that time and just kind of stumbled into it. Um, so I helped participate for the first two years before it was involved in Mela. Um, stepped away to go to nursing school and when that was all said and done, I'd happen to sit down on the couch one day with my husband and say, I really wish that I could get back into coaching again. And the next week I had an email that said, would you come back? We need a coach. So. Long story short, since 2015 season, I've been back coaching and been a part of the Mela conference ever since. Excellent, and you're part of a sport that's really seeing some explosive growth. I mean, it's something that on the East Coast that's really taken off, and we're starting to see that in the Midwest as well. So what do you expect as far as growth in Wisconsin going forward? Um, well, in Wisconsin, we are kind of lagging behind some of our sister states like Minnesota, uh, Illinois, and Michigan. For example, um, last year alone, Minnesota had 83 girls teams sanctioned in the state. Um, here in Wisconsin, we're not sanctioned yet, but it is a um, long-term goal. We had 25 teams in the state last year for girls alone. Um, and this year for Mela, we're expecting about two to three more teams to come in at the youth and middle school level, and we have one more team coming in at the high school varsity level um, with DeForest advancing into a JV and varsity program. Oh wow, so I mean that that's still pretty good growth and it seems like it's getting more and more organized. So uh, are there expectations I guess for players or can they expect to play beyond high school? Oh, for sure. That's actually one of my biggest pushing points about being a varsity coach um, is helping those girls get to the places that they want to go. Um, in prepping for this interview, I did do a little bit of research looking at NCAA websites and then our LAX Power, which keeps track of all my players' stats as they move forward. And right now, best estimates are one in every 27 girls that play at the high school level does have the chance to play at the D1 level. Wow. Um, so with 15 players on a team, likely 20 to 25 on a bench, um, there is substantial opportunity for these girls to keep moving forward and playing at that next level. All right, so for students that are interested in finding out more and about getting started in lacrosse, how would they do that, Ashley? Um, so they can go to madlax.org. That is the Mela Association website, which is our conference here in the Madison area. Um, they can also check in with their athletic director of their school. Um, and right now, the really cool thing about lacrosse, if they don't have it in your school, for, say for example, you play and live in Sauk Prairie, you could co-op with a neighboring team like Wanakee and actually play at that level until your school is able to support a team. Good stuff. Ashley Lochner, thanks for joining us here on the Sports News. Thank you.